Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a makeup tutorial just using all drugstore products. Um, I definitely wanted to do something for spring, but also keep it on a budget for you ladies who like to look fabulous, but on a budget. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, pretty much the inspiration was these earrings and this lavender kind of periwinkle top that I'm wearing. I definitely want to keep it neutral with lots of golds and like a kind of orangey neutral lip as you'll see in the video so if you want to see how to get this really pretty drugstore kind of glowy spring look then please keep on watching hey dolls so I'm first gonna go ahead and prime my face and for primer I'm using the Rimmel stay matte primer and just adding a little bit to my face to prep my face before foundation And for foundation, I'm using Revlon's 24 hour foundation in the color Sand Beige. I really like this foundation. It's long lasting. It's good for combination oily skin, which is what I have. Um, I just really like it. It is a full cover foundation, so it's totally up to you if you want to use this. There are plenty of other different foundations that you can use, but this one has to be my all time favorite. I'll be using Essence Primer and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with my fingers. And for concealer, I'm using Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind in the color Brightener. I'm going to be applying this under my eyes, on my forehead, and on my chin. Just basically the areas where you want to highlight your face. For my eyebrows, I'll be using also Maybelline's uh, eyebrow pencil in the color Deep Brown and just lightly fill in any sparse lines. And to set my under eye concealer and anywhere I put the concealer that I wanted to brighten up areas, I'm using the Revlon Translucent Photo Ready Powder and just a Real Techniques setting brush. To set the rest of my face, I'm using Rimmel's Stay Matte Powder in the color Translucent and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my face to set my foundation to make it not look shiny because I do like to look matte it's because I, throughout the day, bring out a natural shine. And to contour, I'm using a Real Techniques brush and a NYX uh, cheek powder in the color Taupe and I'm just going to go ahead and define my cheekbones. For blush, I'm using one of my favorites. It's a Luminoso from Milani. I really love this blush. It's very bronzy and it just gives you such a really pretty glow. To set my brows, I'll be using a Maybelline Tinted Brow Gel in the color Dark Brown. Now for my eyes, as a transition color, I'm going to be using this NYX Nude Tude Blush. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my crease and use a blending brush and just go ahead and diffuse that. I'm also going to be taking the color 
taupe as well. I'm going to be adding that to the crease to give it a little bit more depth. And for shadows, I'm going to go ahead and be using the this quad from Maybelline called Give Me Gold. And I'm going to be taking that light shade and putting that on my brown bone for a highlight. I'm then going to be taking this glam shadow from NYX that I got in my March Ipsy glam bag in the color over the top. And I'm just going to put that on 3 fourths of the lid, not all the way to the end because we'll be adding a darker shade. And to define the outer corner of my eye, I'm going back to that quad from Maybelline and I'm taking the darkest shade and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the outer V of my lid and diffuse it out. So I'm going to go back to that quad again and I'm using this light gold shade. I'm going to put that on top of the shadow that I put on before. I definitely wanted to make this the lid stand out so this really really helped. I'm going to take that same shade again and I'm going to go ahead and put that on my bottom water eyelid and I'm going to help go ahead and blend that out with my finger. I'm going to go back with that dark shade and put it on the outer corner of my bottom eyelid and blend it out. I'm then going to take my favorite mega liner from NYC, from Wet n Wild actually, <laughs> Oops! and it's in the color dark brown and I'm going to go ahead and do a really pretty cat eye. mascara I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Power Volume Mascara and the color black is black and just add a few coats. And for falsies I'm going to be using the Salon Perfect Perfectly Glamorous in the number 615. Liner, I'm using the Jordana liner pencil in the color dark brown. Going back to that L'Oreal mascara, I'm going to be using that for my bottom lashes and just adding quite a few coats to make those lashes really pop. Now 
Now as for a highlight, I'm going back to that quad and I'm using the lightest shade and just a little shadow brush. And I'm going to be adding that to the highest points of my cheekbone, on the tip of my nose, and I'll also be adding a little bit to the tear duct area and redefining that brow bone just to make it really pop. On to lips, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Lip Pencil in the color Wild Clover. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in lightly. So the rest of that in, I'm going to be taking the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Zurich. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> and this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. I hope you're able to recreate this beautiful springtime look. Um, so yeah, I thanks again so much for watching and y'all have a great, great day. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.